Hey, David. Hello. So we have a subscriber who is asking a question. Her question is, she wants to know how you guys know what colors are since you were all born blind. Mm -hmm. Can you explain that? Well, that's a very good question. And basically, for me anyway, it's based on association. So I really don't know how to explain this. Okay, so let's, let's, So for let's, example, yeah. okay, like like the other day, okay, Bethany got her pink braces, right? Yeah. And she had a strawberry smoothie. Mm -hmm. So I explained to her that the strawberry smoothie, the strawberries in the smoothie are pink, just like her braces. Mm -hmm. Was that a bad example for association? That um, strawberry tastes like pink. Well, then you would associate pink with like sweet tasting and things like that. Yeah. Okay. So, or you would uh, associate like a um, the easiest example, I guess, would be like if you think of um, something that's hot, it's usually like red. Yeah, that's a versus okay. something that's cold is something you know is usually blue. Okay. So it's based on if someone tells you that a color is something you just, uh, as a blind person, you just kind of just imagine the, in order to get a sense. <coughs> you can't answer this question, can you? No, <laughs> it's really hard, isn't it? It's not, yeah. So I don't care about colors as much as. I mean, what, what, like what I've always done is I've just explained to you guys, okay, well, the sky's blue. Yeah, clouds are white, grass is green, right? Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you like what colors you're wearing. Like, what color is your shirt right now? Do you even know? Not really. Probably not, right? So this is one. It's blue, by the way. So one of the reasons that my kids all always wear jeans is because guess what? You can wear mostly anything with jeans. Uh, yeah, and the same holds true with khaki pants, right, David? Mm -hmm. For guys, anyway. So we just kind of keep it simple that way, but. Um, it is very difficult, actually, to explain colors and to understand color when you've never seen it. Am I right? How about colors like yellow and purple? I don't, I don't know. It's, I've never thought about it, them in particular, but I guess you would just have to come up with some way of identifying them. Some people can do like uh, colors by music. And I forget what that's called. That's actually true. There's a there's a name for that. Where, um, like in psychology. Yeah, there's a name for like people can hear a tone and they associate like a color with it. Like they. That's see interesting. A, I forget what it's called. It's like a synth key or something. Syn syn synthesia or something. No. I don't know. You'll have to look that up and get back to us, probably, huh? <laughs> yep. But oh, synestia. Synestia. Synestia, huh? Well, I wonder if somebody like Hannah, who is very music smart, I wonder if she would have a tendency to do that. Although she kind of, she kind of gets color though. Mm -hmm. Like she knows what her bedroom is and her bathroom and all that. But it's, it's a very interesting question and I guess there's no real straight answer to that, right? Mm -hmm for people who've never seen before. So, um, which we're learning is actually quite rare amongst um, the blind population, only 15% are totally, yeah. totally no light sense. perception in our whole house. Everybody is that way. Yeah, no, most of the people I've encountered are visually impaired. So they have some light perception or can see shadows or whatever. Yep. Right, low vision. Or legally blind, yeah. Yeah. How many, um, are there very many um, of your vision impaired friends on campus? How many are like you totally blind? Uh, I believe the triplets are, and there are two of those. Okay. So, um, but then I think that's it. Mm -hmm. All right, well, that's interesting, David. Mm -hmm. We should get the girls' perspective on this also. Here, I'm going to sit down next to you. Uh huh. Oh, that was a crazy <laughs> uh, unloading, <laughs> unloading deal, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah very chaotic. Yeah. <laughs> you are? Hey. Well.
Hello. Hello. I was <laughs> wanting to talk to you guys. You know, we had a subscriber who had asked me a question that was interesting. We talked to David about it the other day. Uh -huh. Yeah. About color. Oh. And how you guys perceive color. I mean, since you were born blind and, you know, you've never, you've never seen color before. Uh-huh. So, Hannah? Uh-huh. What's the deal with your color? Can you explain it to me? Like, how do you, how do you perceive color? So, how, how I um, explain color is like by um, what things remind me of in, of nature. Okay, so that's kind of what David was saying, like association? Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. yeah. Such as? Like, green is the color of grass and yellow is the color of the sun. Okay. It reminds me of the sun. Um, e even though it's all visual to me, <laughs> um, red, it reminds me of a fire truck. So it's just all association. Yeah. No. Oh. But you, like, you care about color. Yeah. More than David does. <laughs> yeah. What's your favorite color? Um, I have two. Okay. Purple and pink. Purple and pink. And why are purple and pink your favorite colors? Because, um, because of the, the, the pink light fixture thingy that you hung up on the ceiling in my room. It's actually white. What? Oh. Yeah, but your room, you have, like, some parts of your room are pink. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Hot pink. Yeah. To be precise. Yeah, and clothes, yeah, my, my clothes can be pink, too. Yeah. Like that of my pink sweater. Typically, it's known as a feminine color, so you like girly stuff. <laughs> yeah. What about you, Bethany? Tell us how you, what you think about color. Mm. Do you think anything about color? Um. How you perceive color? Like you sent me a picture today of something you were working on in gourmet foods. What were you working on in gourmet foods? Today? I I was working on a cake in gourmet foods. You have like a cake decorating contest? Yes. Because it was quite the it was quite the the um, creation and it was very, very colorful. Yeah. Do you know what the colors were on it? I took like a couple of shots and it said like a blue cake. Yeah, they told you? That's the app that I was using told me. Oh. So how I mean do you like do you have any thoughts about color and how you perceive it or how you see color or do you not care that much either? Uh, That's a hard question, isn't it? Yeah. No thoughts on color from Bethany? <coughs> no, but I like pink right now. Now why do you like pink? Because of my braces. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's a good color for you. <laughs> it doesn't have anything to do with the fact that Hannah likes pink, does it? No. No? Okay. So there you have it. It's no, there's no easy answer to that question. Mm -hmm. Right? And how right. people see color when they're blind, I guess they just don't. No. But color's important, though. You're yeah. sitting in a very colorful room right now. Did you know that? Uh Oh, no, I didn't know that. Oh, the walls are orange, the curtains are green, the sofa's brown, your shirt is, is um, bright blue. Woo! Bethany's shirt is gray. Yeah. And what color is my belt that I bought at Tyson's oh, Corner? It's black. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Holy are cow. Are our nails any, co any color? They're just kind of a uh, flesh color unless you paint them. You'd have to paint them a color in order to have them be a color. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> but Hannah, you know like with clothes and things, I mean you you do a good job picking up uh -huh. clothes and you know what color your clothes are. Yeah. Usually. Uh-huh. The camisoles are usually white if I'm wearing a Cameron shirt. Is that just like you just do that from memory, right? Yeah, what I certain things are and what go together. Yeah, it's like when you've been laying out my clothes, I've been um kind of uh looking at how it's all been arranged oh. and i'm kind of following your patterns and your 
your things. How well, interesting. <laughs> you, you actually do a pretty good job with that. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have to get your closet put back together again, though, don't we? Yeah. Do you have a favorite color, Mom? Do I, I, you know, I really don't have a favorite color. I, there's very few color that colors that I don't like. Um, <laughs> like I can't even think of a color that I don't like. And so your mom is. Um, I'm a very colorful person. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, I don't like. I don't like white walls in a house. Oh. Like I like color. Um, on my walls. In fact, I get a little bit depressed if I don't have color in my life in uh -oh. my house. And I've I never realized that. I come to realize that uh, recently, hmm. right? And so that's kind of why we painted our bedroom because I was every morning I woke up and I just wasn't feeling so great. And finally one day I realized that our bedroom looked kind of gloomy because it was all white. Ooh. We had never done anything to it, and so I went ahead and painted those walls. Hmm. But um, that's kind of a big deal to me. I'm a you're, What's funny is that I am a very visual person. Mm -hmm. I'm a visual learner, and I, you know, I take everything in that way. And I don't know. Maybe it's good that I'm kind of extreme that way because I can I can uh, help you guys a little bit, right? right? Yeah. So that's interesting. It's an it's an interesting question, and it doesn't have an easy answer. Mm -hmm. And. Um, you know, it's all good. But I'll tell you, the other night when we had that power outage, Ooh, boy, yeah. I tell you, every once in a while it hits me ah. what you guys what you guys live with. And I was a little bit um, panicking because I couldn't find a flashlight that worked. Hmm. And um, and boy, was it dark. And I, I couldn't, like, I couldn't figure out where the walls were and the stairs. And I know oh. this house pretty well, too. But yeah. what I realized is that my brain is hardwired to my eyesight. Oh, man. Right? And that's yeah. why when you guys go on mobility and all that, I'm always telling you to not follow me, but to think with your brain about where you're going. In relation to where that thing is. Right, wherever it is that you're, you're headed. So yeah, it's all very interesting, but you guys mm -hmm. are pretty amazing that you're able to, to be as... Um, productive and independent as you are because we don't we uh don't take this lightly do we? No. no no oh yeah and colors can sorry oh that's all right um co colors can also be with like when you're cooking like a dish uh -huh. like um chicken i don't know what color chicken is it's kind of a it's kind of an off white or yellowish pale yellowish color Ooh. yeah and then the rice is sometimes brown? Sometimes. Sometimes it's white. Sometimes it's multicolored, depending on what we put in there. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then always peas are green. Yeah. So you, what, you're, what you're saying and what we've talked about before is that mm -hmm. you want a very colorful <clears throat> plate. Yeah. Because that's how you get the most nutrients and all that. It's, that's kind of important that you have um, all those colors on your plate. Yeah. And always some green. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Um, there you go. Okay, girls. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. You're welcome. There was a, there was a <laughs> colorful conversation. Yeah. <laughs> and you guys don't ever be, um, don't ever apologize for asking questions. We're, you know, we're out here on YouTube for that very reason, and so we're kind of having to get over our shyness. We're not, um, we don't, you know, we're not offended by any of these questions, and they're actually very. Um, thought-provoking for us too so we appreciate it and we're happy to answer any questions that you have within reason you know if it does get too personal we'll let you know but um, if you stick to the topic of blindness and you know just our relationships and that sort of thing it's fine but um, you know that's all good all right thanks David yep